Hey awesome ones, Heather here, and I'm looking a little strange, right? I'm looking a little two-faced because I have my old way of wearing a makeup and my new way, which actually I think takes about 10 years off of my face. I can't wait to show you. I'm always, you know, trying out as a YouTuber, I'm trying out new cosmetics and new ways to look more youthful. And I know this video is going to help you. So let's go. So just before I get into this video, let me take off all of my makeup with a little Presto Change-O. Ah! <laughs> okay, when I say I keep it real, I really do keep it real for you. So here I am with no makeup on. And what I'm going to do in this video, it's gonna be a little bit tricky, but you're the awesome one, so I'm going to do this for you. On one side of my face, I am going to do, you know, the makeup that I was comfortable with that kind of originated in the 1980s and 1990s. And then over here, I'm going to do a makeup where I have learned some youthful looking tricks and tips and at the end of it I'm gonna look a little two-faced but <laughs> anyway let's start with the primer so my number one mistake was the use of a primer and it was pretty simple I didn't use a primer so this face is not going to have any but on this side of my face I'm going to have this great product from Strivectin and what it is I'm just going to read it here for you anti-wrinkle line blur perfecter instant wrinkle blurring primer what does all that mean? Well, what that means is that, you know when you're painting a wall and it's got some imperfections on it, and the primer that you put on really fills in those imperfections. Well, my face is like a wall, <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, just put a little dab there. There you go, that's about all you need because I'm basically doing one side of my face. And I just put this primer everywhere. Now, I usually don't put it in um, the crease of my eye because a lot of times when you're putting on powder, if you've got anything that's even a little bit greasy, it goes on kind of weird. So I'm just going to, and don't be kind of freaked out if my face turns red. It always turns red when I apply something. And then after a few seconds, it's gone. So there's the primer. And I kind of put it all over here especially in the forehead. And what it's doing is it's kind of filling in my wrinkles. Oh, and by the way, I'll have products for you below the description of this video, so that should help. <laughs> also, let's get into number two mistake. And number two mistake was that it was the concealer that I was using. And I was using a very thick concealer like this uh, for underneath my eyes, because you can see I've got darkness underneath my eyes. So I thought, well, the more concealer that I put on underneath my eyes, the better it'll be. Wrong. Here's what I was doing. I was applying it with the, um, the brush like this. And as you notice, a lot of YouTubers, they just slather on concealer everywhere. I never put that much on, but I did put quite a bit. And then just with my fingers, I would go underneath and start just blending that in. And wow, you know, it was really looking nice. But what it was doing was it was adding so much in layers to underneath my eyes. And this is where I got my wrinkles. So I was looking really super wrinkly. So what I do now is I just change things up a, a bit. I've used a new product. I found a new product. It's called Boing from Benefit. And it's really, just take a look at the end of this. It's a moisturizer with a little bit of concealer in it. And I use now, instead of my fingers, I'm using a concealer brush like this. And I just put a little bit on a brush and then I just apply it onto my eyes. That's all I do now is I can just put a little bit underneath. All right, what's next? Oh, eyeliner. I used to love my eyeliner because I really wanted to emphasize my beautiful eyes, especially when everything else was kind of going to pot. <laughs> but what we would do before, what I would do anyway, is I would put liner everywhere. So, and I would use black too. So the waterline, of course, let's put it on the waterline. Don't know if you can see a close up of this, but 
also underneath. You probably remember doing this. And also on top. Sorry if I'm covering myself a little bit. I don't want to poke my eye in. There we go. All right, so there I am with my beautiful eyes, but you notice how they're kind of shrinking everything in. It's actually making me look older. So what do I use now? I'm using, thanks to a lot of you out there in the comments, you said, Heather, why don't you use a brown black instead of just black on a liner? Well, I listened and I do read your comments and now I'm using a brown black. Uh, this one is from L'Oreal Infallible and it's just kind of a little pencil thing like this and I put this only on my lid. No waterline, no underneath, just a thin line. I do a little swoosh on the side here. What do you think? It's a lot more natural. Wait till I'm finished. You'll really get the uh, complete outlook of this. Which brings me to the fourth mistake, and that is the use of your eyeshadow. Now, how many of us, I know me, <laughs> loved the smoky kind of look for the eyes, and what we would do was we would get our eyeshadow, and we would make sure that we put, you know, a nice brown or sometimes even a, a gray all over our eyes. I'm just, actually, I'm gonna have to use my, my mirror again for this, sorry guys. But we would just sort of, oh, I love the smoky of eyes and so smoldering, so sexy. But you know what? We kind of, we're still going to look sexy, right? But we, we want to look more naturally sexy. So anyway, so we would just sort of do this. And you can see, and then maybe we'd give it a little swoosh outwards. But that was the smoky eye. Well, you know what? Let's go a little bit more natural this time. So I'm using a palette like this, and I'm going to show you a few of the palettes and the links that I really like to use. Uh, <laughs> this is well loved, obviously, but I want to use a brighter color. This is kind of like a shiny beige color. And what I want to do is I want to put it right here to kind of bring my eyes out and alive. This one's kind of looking dull and, well, smoky, but, and then up here, I want to bring the, the eyebrow up so it looks alive as well. And also, just a little, little dab will do you. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, so just in the inside of your eye. So you see I've highlighted that. Now, depending on your eye color, your skin tone, um, you can use a different kind of, I love, um, I mean, you might be using a brown, but I love using the plum colors for my eyes. So all I do is I get a brush like this that I just dropped. Um, I got another brush somewhere. <laughs> all right, I'm not going to stop. And I just use a plum, plum color like that. And I kind of brush. It's good to have lots of different brushes <laughs> available when they fall on the floor. But I just kind of brush it like that. And then I get the darker color and we'll just, where's my brush for that? Ah, we'll use this one. And I just kind of go into the crease. See how that's going in there? And again, if you have hooded eyes, you want to do a little swoosh out there and it makes your eyes more alive. Now you're looking and you're saying, Okay, I would never wear my eyes like that. Well, that's the power of the blending brush. You got to blend, blend, blend. And I never used to blend over here. I don't know. I guess I never was taught to use the blending brush or I never paid attention to the uh, makeup artist doing my makeup when I was a model. But anyway, blend. Do you see how that's just blending out? And it's making it look so much more natural. Oh, and I almost forgot, I usually put a little bit of uh, just brown eyeshadow underneath my eyes. I want still a little bit of definition underneath my eyes, but this is just done with a powder, so it's super simple. So it's time for my makeup and matte makeup time. What? 
just up until about a year ago, I was wearing a lot of matte makeup and uh, I'm just going to sort of put on, this is the uh, foundation powder and I'm going to do this side of my, my face with the matte look. And whether it's foundation, I would go on, well, not too much under my eyes, but still. <laughs> trying to do half a phase here. Now I am using a beautiful liquid. It's a glowy makeup. This one is from Shashido. It's Synchro Skin Glow Luminating <laughs> Fluid Foundation. So, and my color that I'm using here is rose. And all I do is I just put a little, little bit there. And for me, I like using the sponges still. So, um, halfway down my face and you can just sort of already tell the difference between the two kinds of makeup. Alright, so while the foundation is drying, let's talk about the mascara. And I used to use a mascara that was black and a lot of you said, hey, you should try the brown black. And I did that and I really like it. Again, I'm trying to, when you look more youthful, you usually look a lot more natural. Also, sometimes what I used to do is it's like, oh, this mascara, it's, it's on its last legs, but it's kind of clumpy, but I'm still going to use it. And I would just clump up one coat of mascara and it wasn't a good idea because my lashes would just kind of all come together and I would do them on the bottom as well. And it just, as I said, it wasn't a good look. So what I do now, and I really take care of my mascara, uh, by the way, I am using this is so inexpensive, but it is so good. It washes off really nice at night. It doesn't smudge. And it's the Exhibitionist um, CoverGirl mascara. And what I do, uh, I put on one layer and then I'll do some other part of my face and then I'll put on another layer. So instead of just one clumpy layer, I'm using three. So, so while that's drying, let's talk about the brows. Boy, did we do a lot of eyebrow plucking back in the day, right? And a lot of us have really hardly any eyebrows left. And if you're still thinking, well, I hardly have any eyebrows, so I might as well just do a thin line. Uh, I'm just going to use a brown here again. Well, for me, I want to look natural. So I've talked about this before, but if you haven't tried them, I, I'm just telling you, you're missing out. Uh, these are eyebrow stencils. They're absolutely fabulous and also again I'll have the links below. You get a powder with them and let me just kind of show you if I can do this on camera. It'll be a little tricky but let's see what I can do here. Oh I better hold on. I'll go like that. I did brush my eyebrows up a little bit with just a spoolie but and I use a brush like this. Go into the brown powder and Oh, hopefully I do this straight. <laughs> Next step for the eyebrows, I use a clear mascara like this. This is Great Lash Mascara from Maybelline. And all I do, I want this powder to stay in place. So all I do is brush up those hairs like this. And I have a beautiful, natural looking brow and not something phony and thin and way back in the 90s kind of look. And by the way, if you are kind of liking this kind of video, don't forget to uh, subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell or you click on the bell and you'll be notified of my videos. So the eighth mistake that I used to do, hey, we all did this. We would use maybe even a brown eyeshadow, but we would just go, you know, <laughs> I have cheekbones. It was kind of a sucked in kind of look, but uh, yeah, we would definitely do this. And that's how we like to look because, you know, kind of the simply irresistible look. But I don't do that anymore. I want to look simply natural. And so what I'm using now is a, it's sort of, um, it's a contour, but it's from Tarte and the color I use is exposed. So just kind of looks like this. And now what I'm going to do is I'm using a, well, <laughs> a bit of powder in there. I'm using a blending brush like this and I just kind of go in. Now I still want my cheekbones 
to show up but I'm gonna have a little bit of rosiness too. And it gives me the contouring, but it also gives me more of a natural glow. So my next mistake was using highlighter. On this side, I didn't use any highlighter. <laughs> I didn't give myself that, that glow. I was actually kind of afraid of using highlighter in case I, I was just way too shiny. I mean, remember how we used to learn that powder made you unshiny? Well. Now we gotta look a little shiny. So what I'm using is um, this highlighter from Too Faced and it's fancy pink diamond here. I'll open it up and show it to you. So it's, it's very lovely and shiny. And all I do is I have a brush like this and I put the highlighter just above my cheekbones. Don't put it all over. You're just going to look really super shiny and unnatural. And I also put just a little bit up here. Now, can you see the difference between the matte side and of course I've got the, the uh, nicer foundation on, but I'm looking just a little bit more alive over here than I am over here. So uh, yeah, highlighter. All right, so the next mistake that I want to talk about, hey, I'm all for wearing red lipstick now. I used to not like wearing red lipstick, but I did find out that if I use a red that's kind of matte, it's just not doing anything for me. Let me just put on this matte um, lipstick for you. There we go. So um, now you're probably thinking that looks okay, but with your lips shrinking, please, please do not use the brown liner to go around your lips. I'm just gonna do that a little bit here. You might be thinking, oh, well, it's making my lips look bigger, but it's, I didn't even think it was attractive back then when it was uh, popular, but it's certainly not attractive now. Uh, today I'm using just a lipstick. I usually use a little bit of liner in the same color, um, but today I'm just going to use the Dior lipstick. And this one is, um, it's, what is it? Dior Attic. And it's also called Stellar Shine. So it's a very pretty kind of a reddish pink to go with my shocking pink top that I'm wearing today, which I absolutely love. Get out of the black clothes, everybody, and get into a little bit of color. But uh, anyway, I just sort of, this holds well too. And again, I could put a little bit of uh, lip liner on if I wanted to, but let's take a look at the before, the old me, and also, the fresh, new, <laughs> more alive, more youthful me. This side is more alive, it's more vibrant. And this, this is kind of the pancake makeup, pile it on, smoky eye. Let's just call it the unnatural look. And when you're going really unnatural, you're really not looking youthful at all. So uh, yeah. So let's just bring out somebody who always looks amazingly natural and talk about my future videos. So here he is, Mr. Hurricane, and I know he puts a smile on your face every week. And you know what? You put a smile on my face every week because I'm reading the comments and we're really a big community here of women that really try to help each other. And I'm so happy to read the comments. And by the way, I'm learning a lot from you. So if you have a cosmetic that you really like and you're finding you're getting that youthful glow with it, please include it in your comments and share it with all of us. Um, also, did you notice this picture behind me? I'm kind of proud of it because my daughter is a graphic artist and uh, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret, a little sneak peek if you wanna go check it out. And at amazon.com slash shop slash awesome over 50, uh, my daughter has created, and with my help, some confidence boosting fun t-shirts so we are still designing more but I think the first ones you're going to like uh, some of these t-shirts like aging like uh, a fine wine you know you wear them around the house maybe lounging and you're feeling good so uh, yeah check that out because after all we're all here to help each other and I want to continue to keep on making things and writing books and and being here 
here on uh, YouTube and also Instagram for you because you are the awesome ones and I just love you guys.